and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and I am back with another blindside creation. And um, yeah, let's go see if we can find it. Um, pattern number is 104685. This was given to me by Minute Craft, and I have not seen this pattern before before just now <laughs> um oh this is 16 string i had it written down as 14 hang on you well here first let me copy this and then So it's 16. I wonder why I thought it was, I don't know. I jotted my notes down wrongly. All right, so let me paste. So that should copy it. All right, unscripted, can you tell? Um, first I need to rotate it. Uh, that one. And we're gonna rotate it by 90 degrees. It doesn't matter which way because it's all nice and symmetrical. We're going to enlarge it as well. Okay. And then just kinda move it off to the side and put it to a new layer. And now to my paint tool. So, oh, that's kind of nice. The white box seems to be the whole gist of everything here. I don't use white when I work because it's hard to uh, copy and change into something else. I'm gonna use like a gray. figure this out so it kind of actually landed really nice there hang on let me make sure uh fill some or areas if you notice i check that now I, I try to make it work better all right so the white comes out like this comes out the edge. No. Ah! There, skips two and comes back. And then the white comes in this way. So this thing's so symmetrical, I think I can get away with actually not having to, uh, do quite as much work with it. Um, that's the hope. If this comes right back out, and the inside one is one, two, three, skip two, goes two, skip two, three. That brings us back into there. Cool. Um, I guess the next obvious one is this darkest color. It seems to be all over the place here. So this is going up to the gap and then out here, it goes three this way. And here's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It comes into the center. Got it. And then back out. And in here. Oh, I'm so confused. I 
Wait, something is very, very, very wrong, and I don't see why. Let's try this a different approach. So we can just know that this light blue is right here. And then we have this blue is here which, oh man, it's so close to ours. All right, that's fine. We'll cope we'll, we'll with that for now. This is the dark. So the dark came up one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And it's a dark inside of it. And then this light thing was supposed to go around that. And then this light went around that. So that means this is wrong. That's it. So there's the three. This is our lighter color. There's our dark. Ah, and this one comes back out. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Wow, this was not how I had seen it. This is up here. All right, let me get rid of these. Somehow I just absolutely counted wrong. I have no idea how I managed that. Okay, so the gap between these things is way bigger. And then what happens up at the top here? We've got this dark going all the way to here. This white goes here. We got this funny little blue, and we got one dark here. All right, now to figure out how this works, there is a small diamond there. This blue. One, two, one. Here. One. And back out this way. That's kind of neat. We can kind of see its path really easily. So that's probably one of the first, besides the white that I color in. Um, do, 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 do. This dark is here. And here. The white is here. Not that way. This dark is itself like that. One there, and then that's that light thing. Wait, what did we get out here? Oh, there's some darks. Dark here. 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 That doesn't seem at all confusing at all, does it? What? Here, here. This color comes in like that. change that one color of blue is because I don't know what to do with it or to think about it. I'm going to guess that's how this gets to here because obviously this one bounces so yeah. 
And that's just from experience. Um, as you try to learn how to make patterns, you'll notice most of the time it's an easy route unless somebody made a pattern that's so complex that nothing makes sense. But most of the time it's, it's pretty easy. say that probably exactly how that one went and if not I made it easier so there I guess all right and this one So yeah, I haven't seen this pattern before. Me trying to work it out. Sometimes I try to put a big twist on it. Um, this one, it's it's pretty clever as it is. I don't see any kind of need to try to make it. Like if there's if there's obviously something cool that can be done, um, I'm all for it. I don't. If it had gone up a little bit more, we could have done something maybe different, bring these in in a different way. I don't know. I kind of like the look of it overall. Kind of interesting. And it is definitely, I see why my new craft picked this for me. It's, it's definitely one of those kind of uh, patterns that I wouldn't have necessarily have come up with on my own. And uh, it's possible that because of doing these blindside creations, I end up coming up with new patterns later on um, because of how it just kind of inspires me. Um, 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 um. What goes on in those two? This one, yes, was that away? back to the middle so it's yeah once once you kind of get it working on one part it's kind of probably better to like try to keep it doing the same thing there guys as unbelievable as that may seem
this is that other blue. There's two white, two darks, one of this medium blue, two of the. All right. Um, back to our layers. We can take our example away now. Wow. This actually kind of went kind of quick, I think. Hey. Control C, Control V for a copy and paste. Come over here and we flip it using our guideline. And that gives us our top half. Go back to our select tool to anchor it. Now we can do the same thing, copy and paste for the top half and flip using the center horizontal line. There's our bracelet. So if nothing else, what I do like about the fact that we made the pattern, uh, granted, we didn't change it really much, but when I make it, it will be symmetrical. Whatever is on the top half is also on the bottom half and uh, it kind of balances it out so you don't start it off with one of the squares and then uh, end it with halfway in a different square. So, yeah. Um, this one might be a little bit of a challenge to make, but I think it's really pretty. I think this is gonna be fun. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to making it. Thank you, Minute Craft. Thank you for watching. And thank you to my Patreon supporters as well as my YouTube members for making all of this stuff possible. I really can't imagine a world where I wasn't trying to try new things with not. So I'll be back tomorrow to let you know just how difficult or easy this was. And um, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. So thank you. And as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.